Hello and welcome to the channel. Today I'll show you guys how I record my screen with Logic Pro X using OBX Studio. First thing you need to do is go ahead on internet and download OBS Studio, which is a free open broadcast software for recording your screen. Once you've installed OBS Studio, next software you need to download is Sunflower for Mac, which is an audio extension. Go ahead, install this Sunflower for Mac. You need to look for version 2.0 B2. Once you've installed this, go under your applications, audio utilities, open audio utility. Next thing is audio MIDI setup. Once you've opened this, you need to hit this plus to create multi output device. As you can see, I've already created one here, but if you hit that, now you need to untick this. Only select your audio interface and Sunflower, which is what I've done here. Just my audio interface and Sunflower because I'm using Focusrite. So I'll go ahead and remove this because I've already done it. After you've done this, then master device there, you can see is Sunflower. Go ahead and close this. Next thing you now need to do is go under your logic preference audio change the output device to that multi output you've created save that then go ahead open obs as you can see i'm using it to record now but what you basically need to do is create a scene which i've already created audio capture as my scene if you just hit that name it whatever you want to name it i've named mine as door capture then when you come here click the plus sign again on the source first i've used display capture which is this display capture then the second one, you hit again, the same plus. Then I've done audio output capture, audio output capture. Now set your display capture under here. That's your audio output capture. Set it on the properties as Sunflower, right? Save it. Now for your mic, set it as your audio interface on the properties. I'm using focus, right? So you just select your audio interface. Once you've done this two, next thing is go under general settings, output, recording. Now you see audio track, I'm using one and two. Basically one is to capture the screen, two is to capture my mic. So it's grayed out now because I'm using it to record as you can see. It's live so that's why it's grayed out. You can just see all the settings here. If you want to copy my settings, the rest will just be generic anyway. Then for audio on the mic, I've already selected this because remember, I've already set here as my mic, which is what you see in here. Focus right as my mic. For video, as you can see, it's all same resolution 1920 by 1080p aspect ratio 16.9 this will just be same generic once you've done up to this you should now be able to see your mic coming here as i'm using my mic if you turn your mic on on your audio interface then for audio capture because we've set it on sunflower that's why there's no audio here until i play an audio in logic which i'll do now quickly So as you can see, I've basically separated them whereby the Sunflower is putting audio on the display, whereas my mic is putting audio on the audio output. So next thing you need to do now is under the general, which is advanced audio properties. If you come here, make sure that your mic, this mono button is ticked so that when you record your voice is mono source. But for the output capture, just leave it. You don't need it. It, it, it should be stereo anyway, so don't bother ticking that. And on here as well, separate it so that first track is recording your output capture only, while the second, which is the mic, is recording your mic only. If you select this to record both, that means the two audios will be together. When you go to your uh, video editing software, you can't separate them. But having it separate like this, that means when I go into my video editing software, which is logic pro x if i use the under clip expand audio then i'll have my mic separate from the screen which is the audio coming out of my logic because when i go there i put some effects on my voice which if i record them together that means i can't do that otherwise it will be longer process so i hope this helps don't forget to like and subscribe if you have any further questions just leave me a comment down below and give the video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel for more content like this. See you on the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye now.